Yeah. Hey, you know the MCU, right? Uh, yes, I'm aware of it. Yeah, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? Uh huh. With such hit as Avengers: Endgame, the highest grossing movie of all time, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Right, right. That universe, right? The yeah. one, the one that 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 oh, that has Spider-Man every other weekend, right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. The 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 one that the one that no longer has Scarlett Johansson in it, right? Because of contract disputes, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Right. The one where it has the anti-Semitic Eternals, right? The anti-Semitic Eternals. Why are you gonna bring that in? <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm aware. Yeah. Right? Right? Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, like? okay. Oh, oh. Dog. Uh, yeah, I thought you were gonna continue. Okay, but okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. So, wait, so. Do you remember the, do you remember the fact that Elon Musk exists within that universe? Wait, does he? Does he exist? Yeah, I forgot that Elon Musk canonically exists within the MCU. Like, what? he actually exists. Like, not in passing, right? Like, he just straight up exists within that universe. What, what does he do? Does he do anything at all? <laughs> oh, he exists. He just Try exists, to huh? guess what movie where Elon Musk just fucking appears for a cameo to, to establish to the world, to the universe that Elon Musk exists within this universe. Um, fuck, I don't know. Fucking, uh, hmm. I don't Try know. Try to Are... take a guess. If Elon Musk were to make a cameo appearance in a Marvel movie, which one would he pro appropriately appear in? What? Iron Man 3? Because I would imagine two rich billionaires, that kind of thing, right? No, Iron Man 3. You think it would be Iron Man 3. No! Iron Man 2! Oh, shit. Wait, he appeared in Iron Man 2? He was in Iron Man 2. When and I completely he... forgot about it until I was re-watching Iron Man 2. And they just fucking have, here's Elon Musk. And he just shows up to say, hello, I'm Elon Musk. Wait, and that's it. Really? I don't remember that at yeah. all. Fuck you, don't want me. Okay, if, <laughs> you can give me a timestamp and then I'll be able to find it if I on on Disney Plus. I'm just I'm gonna show you the I'm just gonna show you a canonical screenshot from the movie. All right. Okay. This is literally what like the I think this is like definitely like the first ten minutes of the movie. Like this is like the beginning of the movie. Oh shit! That was him. <laughs> oh, he just kind of shows up and is like, "Hey, how are you?" And then just goes. He gets... I feel I'm not sad. That's it. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> That's funny. Fucking I keep forgetting how fucking stupid, how fucking stupid it is. The fact that Elon Musk is fucking exists within the MCU like that, he, right? He's just here and then he disappears. He fucking dips, and that's all we well, ever see. According to the to the Marvel Cinematic Universe wiki, he's mentioned at two other different times. Wait, when? When at all? Let's see, from Anna Hellstorm from the hit Marvel Hulu TV show, Hellstorm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And who the fuck, uh, who the fuck is this character? Who the fuck, and, uh, from, and then some guy from Age of Shield that no one gives a fuck about, because Age of Shield no one cares about it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, imagine. That's fucking amazing. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, like I said, like I said, the existence of the fact that Elon Musk just casually, randomly exists in, in the MCU is like the funniest fucking thing to me when I was rewatching uh, that. You think, you think like, for anything to just exist. Here, here's my thing, though, Austin. Here's my hot take. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't do anything in the movies, do you think he's anti Semitic? What? Do you, do you think Elon no, Musk no, is no, anti Semitic? No, I mean, because he wasn't alive when Hitler came to power, right? But the Eternals were. Yeah, right. but you, but remember, we did get Space Hitler, which is Thanos, and he didn't do anything. Mm. What did, why didn't he uh, do did, anything? Hold on! Not a, did Elon Musk get snapped in the MCU, though? Hmm, that, you know what, that is a good question. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to know if Who he did, actually did get on. snapped. Hold on, did Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos get snapped, or did both of them get snapped? Hmm. Hmm. Good. Hmm, actually, hmm. Maybe both got snapped. Both got snapped? Well, here's the thing. Because the world was in such turmoil, you think billionaires would come in and swoop in and just take over the world, right? What? But, 
Wait, 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 wait. There is no way that during a, a, a pandemical situation like that, that billionaires would get richer, right? That would be fucking stupid. And, and it would show an extreme fault within the societal system of our world for the, for something like that to happen while while everyone else is facing difficulties and, and hardship, and, right? And, and losing and losing value. That the billionaires of the world just become, somehow becomes richer, right? That would be very fucking stupid. That's uh-huh. something that can uh-huh. only happen in movies, all right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Yeah, only uh-huh. in movies, huh? <laughs> yeah, only in movies, right? Movies where we can be a free guy. <laughs> that's, the, that's the segue. So that's, the, that's the segue. <laughs> that's our segue. Oh, my God. All right, well, this is I don't better. know what else you're expecting. Well, well, at least it's better than the one we got for Pig. All right. That's all. What? I don't know what you're talking. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, yeah, these movies aren't uploaded. Aren't uploaded in orders. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah. You, well, you know what? I do. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I try, oh, oh look, well, that's I the tr- timeline. You're talking about the timeline. Okay. We well, don't mess with the sacred timeline. Uh, well, fuck! You know, I can't open this package you know of soy sauce. I jump hold timelines on. and do whatever the fuck. Hold on, I hold on. Let me. I'm trying to figure out how to open up this package of, of soy sauce. Oh, okay. Hold on. Wait. It cannot. Be okay, I figured hard. it out. It cannot be. That okay. Hard. No, there's a tear here side. I was looking for the tear here side. All right. <laughs> you could always just like tear it where it's terrible. No, 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 no. I have to use the. They ha- there's a reason it says tear here. All right. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I have to use that. Oh, hold on. Oh, let me. Uh, let me. Uh, let, let me. Let me put the soy sauce on the sushi. All right. While you read the Wikipedia article of Free Guy. Oh uh, yeah. I guess I should do that. I guess that is my one job. All right. So as per mm-hmm. usual, I shall read to you, got to you, the audience, the plot synopsis that is provided to us within the film's Wikipedia page. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we go. Guy is a yeah. non-player character NPC in Free City, an open-world video game developed by Tsunami Games. Unaware that the world he lives in is a video game, he works as a bank teller alongside his best friend and the big security guard buddy. In the real world, Millie Rusk, who plays out as Molotov Girl, tries to find evidence of being the rightful owner of the source code stolen by head developer Antoine uh, Hovashelik. While co-developer Walter Keyes McKay works at Tsunami. In the game, Molotov Girl catches Guy's attention by singing his favorite song, and he begins to deviate from his programming. Taking a pair of sunglasses from a player robbing the bank, Guy sees Free City through the player's heads-up display, uh, HUD, and tries to catch up with that's Molotov right, That's a gamer Girl. term right there. Uh-huh. That's why that's, right, that's, only, that's a term that only gamer knows about. Oh my god. Keys and co-worker Mauser, believing Guy to be a hacker disguised as an NPC, unsuccessfully try to ban him from the game. Guy soon meets Millie at the stash, a well-guarded compound uh, that holds evidence of her source code. Thinking Guy is a novice player, she advises him to level up after their failed break-in. Rapidly progressing the game by completing the missions via good acts, Guy stands out from the other players and becomes a worldwide sensation as Blue Shirt Guy. After stopping another player from robbing the bank, confiscating the player's sunglasses in the process, Guy tries to give them to Buddy, who, is convi- who isn't convinced. Guy helps Millie escape from the slash after after from the stash. Excuse me, from her second failed break-in. Millie is bewildered when Guy wants to kiss her, as this function is unavailable in the game. Guy reveals to Millie that Guy is truly an NPC in that his self-awareness came from artificial intelligence code containing Millie's personal preferences that Keyes had included in Life Itself, the original game they developed. This led Guy to develop a romantic interest in Millie, while his interactions with other NPCs have led him, have led them to develop self-awareness. Key, uh, <clears throat> Keyes agrees to help Millie retrieve their code before Free City is wiped from Tsunami servers to make way for Free City 2. When Millie tells Guy the truth of his situation, Guy becomes frustrated with his reality and breaks off their relationship. After talking with Buddy, Guy realizes that there was something more to their reality and returns to Millie. With Buddy's connections with the security guards, they enter the stash again, and it turns out the player that owns the stash is a fan of Guy, who compliantly gives him the evidence. As Guy's continued popularity threatens the launch of Free City 2, Antoine orders a reboot which temporarily removes uh, Guy's memories. Millie restores his sentience by kissing him, and he recalls the location of the island, the only part of life itself and proof of Millie, and keys his original code. As Guy and Molotov Girl travel to the island, Antoine has Mauser try to kill them, but his attempts are subverted by Keys, 
who also streams the events. Antoine fires keys and sends Dude, a muscular unfinished copy of Guy developed for Free City 2, into the game. Initially overwhelmed, Guy puts his sunglasses on Dude, which distracts him and allows Guy to reach the island. Meanwhile, Antoine destroys the city by smashing the game servers with fire axe, erasing Buddy in the process, as well as firing Mouser when he objects. Before Antoine could destroy the final server, Millie offers a deal to abandon her lawsuit and surrender the Free City intellectual property to her and Keys in exchange for the profits from the game. Antoine accepts and the game's inhabitants are saved. Without Millie and Keys' code, Free City 2 is a catastrophic failure at launch, while Antoine is vilified by the, by the media and arrested for theft and criminal damage. Keys, Mauser, and Millie free, release Free Life using their recovered code, including Guy, Dude, and the other Free City characters. In the game, Guy reveals to Millie that his code is in fact a love letter to her from Keys. Millie leaves the game, and she and Keys share a kiss. Meanwhile, Guy reunites with Buddy, and they begin to live their own lives. And that's the end mm -hmm. of the plot synopsis. So, alright, William. Commercialism is bad, alright? Yeah. Corporations are bad! Yeah, while using commercialism within game to express that commercialism yeah. is bad. Yeah, that's right. It's like, corporations um, are the enemy of the people, okay? Yeah, yeah, right. I said that. Ashley posts on a corporate old website posting <laughs> videos. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, hey, find this video on Vimeo, all right? Um, or Venmo, or whatever uh, the fuck it's called. Isn't it Vimeo? Wait, hold on. I want to say it's Vimeo. Is it Vimeo? Oh, no, Ven no wait, Venmo's the stupid uh, fucking uh, uh, money money service app or whatever the fuck. Yep. And... Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, alright, 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 look, if I get silenced by Big Tech, you know what happened, you know what to do, alright? If you get silenced by Big Tech, I'll make sure to just stay out of Big Tech's way, because I've learned no, no, no. If you get, from you. If, you get silenced, if I get silenced, release this video, alright? Release the video where I talk about Big Tech and getting silenced by Big Tech, so people know that I got silenced by Big Tech, alright? <laughs> Yeah, sure. I'll I'll be sure to do that after uh, you know after I get put on the ground as well for supporting yeah. your, your 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 views on big tech. <laughs> oh my god, it's um okay. So I mean, I guess on the movie, it's um okay. So I mean, it's a it's a popcorn flick. Honestly, is the way I go about. Yeah. it. it's just some, mm -hmm. something nice to watch and kind of. Hey, just hey, hey you want to say about this movie? This is not a this movie is a centralized, localized problem. All right, uh, Austin. You yourself literally just got on me over the fact that these movies aren't uploaded in, in you know, up after one after the other. No one's going to understand what you're saying, Austin. <laughs> look, look, if we break the code, no one will ever figure it out, alright? We gotta break the, the, the perception of reality, okay? Uh-huh, yeah, sure, sure. But... <laughs> okay. No one's, go no, no one's here to break our reality, alright? Mm -hmm. Except for, I guess, Free Guy. It's, okay, I don't really have a lot to say on Free Guy myself, if only because it's just kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's, it's a feel-good movie, right? You don't mm -hmm. get a, it's, and, and, and the plot's very simple, is you're really just there for yeah. the gags and the humor, which is, you know, you know yeah, pretty much it. And, and Ryan Reynolds' great charisma, like always. Boy, that Ryan Reynolds, what a guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like it's, no, no, I don't apply with Ryan Reynolds with that. <laughs> look, <laughs> all all of this is just like Ryan Reynolds is. Well, he is Ryan Reynolds. He, he's he, at this point he's being typecast into whatever, right? He kind of just mm -hmm. plays like I guess himself is with the word. He just kind really just kind of plays the um that 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 charis the charismatic goofy guy. You know, that's kind of his mm -hmm. stick at this point. You know, yeah. um. But th this movie is just kind of like more. It's it is it is it is that kind of feel good movie like about like um oh you you know do good and good and uh do good and good uh, happens around you type of deal, mm -hmm. um because because the thing is the way they portray Free City is just like they like it's they say it's like really just open world but it's it's basically GTA on fucking crack. All right, because literally, mm -hmm. like you, it's like people are robbing banks, stealing cars, killing other players, killing NPCs, just you know, skydiving, yeah. like jets flying around, explosions everywhere, that kind of thing. It's literally just GTA on crack, right? And they're using that as a sense, like, while well, like, oh yeah, video games can be violent and stuff, but if you do good, you know, you know, people are people are into it, which you know, I would like. 
It's fair. You do get games like Stardew Valley and like uh, foot. I mean, I mean, I only ever did have Stardew like Terraria, but but they basically. Well, I mean, I guess you can kind of fight in Terraria, but anyway. Like the thing is, is like you get a lot of games that are basically just slice, slice, slice of life ish that don't really have any real violence in the game, you know. Um, mm-hmm. And there is a there is a there is a media or an audience for it. I mean, and mm-hmm. I, and I get the intention here because like the thing is, this is like oh you know if you do good, people want to do good and they'll find other ways to do like play you know to kind of interact with people if they're not shown like that. It's kind of the same idea if you like. Okay, I don't know if we ever talked about it, but like. It's, it's the same idea of Death Stranding because in Death Stranding, the whole idea of that game is basically you're delivering items to and, you know, you're cooperating with other players to kind of rebuild the world and then you don't compete against each other. You're just making deliveries, you know? There are uh, there are other, other obstacles like people who, who fight you and stuff, but you don't have to kill them. It's again giving that, that, that uh, in, within Death Stranding, it gives you the option to just like either sub to subdue them and then move on your way and then connect other mm-hmm. people and do your best to connect the world at large after it's been broken uh, um, broken by what is known as the Death Stranding within the game. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of going along that same concept. So again, it's a, a very feel good movie. It kind of talks about like. Uh, about like you know how there's more to life uh, you know than like uh than like e- like th- there was a discussion when i do like the discussion that they have here because a lot of it is just kind of like a lot of this movie is just again just gags and stuff like that right yeah you know, it's, video it's, game it's humor. Not, seriously this is just a fun movie to watch yeah, and it is a fun movie it's a nice movie to kind of just yeah. like, say, sit down and like turn your brain off but there is a nice mm-hmm. conversation between guy and buddy right where they're talking about like oh well you know you, if you expect it more out of life, but you know, for some people, life is about the moments that you you, you experience along the way, type of thing. So mm-hmm. it's just it's just kind of like, it's just it's it feels like it feels kind of like uh, Ryan Reynolds' um ph- like life uh philosophy on life is that we're getting here, you know? Because mm-hmm. this was the movie that I believe that he basically kind of pushed himself, I think, for the most part. Right, mm-hmm. um, because he he is a producer for it and everything, and I guess he he very yeah. much enjoyed the uh, the movie, uh, mm-hmm. or just the idea of it. Um, I guess there's not there's not a lot for me to say that other than it's a feel good movie and that like um, you'll get laughs out of it. I guess I, I can't. Yeah, it, there's some great there's some good moments in this movie. Uh, there's some great moments in this movie. I, I I enjoyed the jokes in this movie. I love the part where Ryra just yells at an old an old woman about her cat, which is fucking great. I did, uh, I did like the arrival. I mean, well, then again, it's only because like these guys, we get like visual gags and, and stuff like that. When 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 guy is fighting dude, and my god, mm-hmm. just, now that I say these lines out loud, it's kind of fucking wild. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, he kind of fights against dude, and dude's just like this fucking muscular, like um, unfinished uh, copy of guy, right? So he very much yeah. clearly acts like just a muscle head, muscle head that has no real intelligence to his own to his own self. Um, you do get some nice gags where like Ryan Reynolds, at, like he just kind of, he just he does bring out the Captain America shield and everything. Yeah, and yeah, I was gonna get into. I was gonna get into this. To that section of the movie, the movie where I hated the most part, when I realized that co- corporations and and capital and commercialism got to me. Oh my god! I mean, it's by oh I don't remember twentieth century. This movie's all it's, well, it's by twenty. Well, it was by twentieth century Fox, but this movie was in production around the time that that it got sold. Yeah. Right. So yeah. from what I read, after it got after the movie got after the kind of the the people who were in the movie was like. Hey, can we put Disney stuff in this movie now? And he's like, yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it has Ryan Reynolds. If this was like, if, if this, if this was like some C tier director with no no name cast, we would never do this shit. But Ryan Reynolds, he's everybody loves Ryan Reynolds. We'll put him in. We'll we'll get we'll grant his request. Hey, I mean, at least the at least the movie didn't make its money back, man. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't you know, I didn't dislike the movie. Oh, there's someone so, at the door. You keep ranting while I go, while I'll be back. Oh my god. I mean, all I really wanted to say to you guys is just the fact that like the the budget for this movie, you're not gonna actually get the greatest special effects out of it. It's 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 running on like around a hundred and hundred twenty five uh, million dollar budget, and you know it, it, it's a CG, it's not like a gratuitous use of CGI. Uh, it, when it is CGI, it's very obvious, but it made its money back, and it's, it's like uh, the box o- box office. It did pull in. I mean, it's not it's not the greatest for profit, but it did get like around three three hundred thirty one million dollars. Yes, I am back. 
I am back from the door. Um, okay, well, all I was really, really trying to say it was, was that... people delivering my new door. Wait, what? We're getting new doors, all right? Wait, you mean for like... Wait, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but like... Did they... Did they... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Did they fucking... Um, what, what is it for you? Inside of your house is what I mean? Like... Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Why do you need new doors? Yeah. Your doors work fine. I don't know, replacing doors or something. I don't know. I mean, first it was a chandelier. If I, remember hey, I don't know what you're talking about. We, I don't know what you're talking about. Chandeliers? That's a completely different universe of, of speaking right there. You're just basically getting fancier stuff for your house. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about chandeliers, alright? Uh huh, uh huh. Um. Anyway, fucking, I was just I was just mentioning the fact that I'm glad the the movie made its money back because I do like these kinds of movies where it's just not like, you know, it tries to portray a, a good message, which it does, you know. Um, it's not the I mean the I'm not expecting anything too deep, and honestly, Ryan Ryan Reynolds' charisma really just carries this fucking movie the whole the whole way because if it was anybody but Ryan Reynolds. Or at least anybody who didn't have his charisma. I'm not sure how well this movie would have won, you know? Mm-hmm. Because, right. like, I think the only other person that I can imagine taking the role of Guy is probably Hugh Jackman, if only because he tends to have that... Oh, sort of, I was like, gonna say Ryan Gosling. Oh, well, I don't... Like, you say Ryan Gosling, but, like, I'm talking about, like, the um the, the ability to kind of portray, like, the happy-go-lucky type thing, which while Ryan Reynolds does do well, the charismatic goofball type of thing... But like, mm-hmm. I mean, Hugh Jackman, he's not much. He's he's very charismatic. I don't think he can do the goofball so well because I've, I've like uh, he also, does. Also, serious answer. I was gonna say Paul Rudd, by the way. Paul, he, Paul Rudd could work. He could mm-hmm. work. But honestly, it's just like it's kind of hard to like think of who could very most closely match Ryan Reynolds, and I can only really think of Hugh Jackman because they do kind of bounce off each other really well, you know. Um... If you ever if you ever if you ever seen like whenever like they do they do commercials like they always rag on the other person like Ryan Reynolds when he did his um he he did his advertisement for his his um drinking his drinking line like uh, the, the yeah, his yeah. whiskey or I don't remember if it was yeah whiskey. his whiskey uh huh yeah right? like he he makes a quick mention of Hugh Jackman right and then in in in, in another commercial that Hugh Jackman does he'll he'll just <laughs> He'll rag on Ryan Reynolds in turn, you know? So, But that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying, like, in the sense that, like, they both have, like, a similar charisma where they can just kind of joke around. Like, they do seem like people that can joke around and have fun with that kind of thing, right? Yeah. But, um, the acting is very much just kind of, it's acceptable. You're not expecting too much mm-hmm. out of it. Ryan Reynolds is, of course, just, ah. he, uh, for a role it's that a he star, does. Star Wars already has, and he carries the movie. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just like, again, like, Ryan Reynolds, his character, the pretty it's the character that you've seen him portray a couple of times. Have you ever seen his romantic comedies and stuff oh, okay, like that? Oh, okay, that's who this actor is. No, I was trying to figure out where the fuck I saw this actor from. He's from Stranger Things. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Oh, now. you're talking about the uh, the coder. Yeah, he, yeah, he was in Stranger yeah, yeah, Things. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was like, fuck, I know, I see this guy from from somewhere before, but I can't remember where. Yeah, uh, Joe Joe Keery, I think is how you pronounce his yeah, name, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. He plays Steve in Stranger Things. Stranger Things out now on Netflix. He's still I rocking think. that hair. He's still rocking that hair. Hey, hey, look, look, Netflix, look, look. Netflix pays for that hair, all right. He can't. He cannot un. He cannot un uncut it. Yeah, there, there was that time I remember, in, like when I used to like frequent the Stranger Things subreddit when I was when you know Stranger Things was up in its um. High. And, and, like at, at its height, right before the, right? before the uh, COVID came in and everything, right. There was Dwayne a... Johnson's a big... When the fuck was Dwayne Johnson in this movie? Wait, was he in this movie? What? When the fuck was Dwayne Johnson... What the fuck was Dwayne Johnson in this movie? I mean, there were... Oh, yeah. There, oh, this, there, there is this thing where... Um, <laughs> the, the fucking... Um, the, this movie does feature a good amount of cameos from YouTubers and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I know. It's, I'm um, so fucking confused where the fuck Dwayne Johnson was. Uh, and the, I mean, I just wanted to, like, for a quick mention of that, uh, he, oh, uh, he, is, it is, it is, they, they don't outstay their welcome. They, they're just kind of there, make a mention, and yeah, that's kind there. of it. Yeah, they're just really there, which is, you know, mm-hmm. appropriate way of using them. Um, I mean, it says here, Dwayne Johnson was, like, a bank robber. So, it may, yeah. have, so it may have been, like, one of those, you know, remember those hit, like, um, 
Daniel Craig had a cameo in um in Star Wars, but nobody knew. Oh wait, hold on. Was he was he the bank robber when Free got the second glasses? Probably. Because he also got, because apparently Hugh Jackman was also uh, also was also yeah Hugh, Hugh, oh no Hugh, no 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 no, no, no you see you see what it's saying here is that they 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 were voice cameos oh were they voice cameos yeah because as I'm reading here in the Wikipedia it says other voice cameos in the film include Tina Fey as Keith's vacuuming mom which I do recall Hugh Jackman yeah. as a masked avatar in an alley Dwayne Johnson as a bank robber and John Krasinski okay. as a silhouetted gamer. So I could, so yeah, for the voice, I can see that, you know? Um, but yeah, then again, Ryan Reynolds is like, he's apparently friends with everybody, so, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, it's just like, it's just, um, th- th- those cameos are very much harmless. They- they're-, they're just fun to see and everything. Um, yeah. I mean, the thing, it's like, I'm, I enjoy, I, I enjoy it's, it's an Dwayne enjoyable movie. cameo. Big fan of his cameo, alright? Yeah, yeah. I'm, the the jokes are pretty. They, they can be. They can. They can. At least for me, they're a hit or miss. You know, I enjoy mm-hmm. it regardless. Again, it's because I like the feel good attitude of the movie. But like you know, the hu- the the humor can be. It's simple, I suppose is the word I'm looking for. It's not like it's not like clever cleverly witted or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It's more. It's more slapstickish, and then you know, like you. you uh, I guess sometimes you will get a blink or miss it joke type of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the di- the dialogue is nothing to write home at. Um, the characters are very much, um, they're very much two dimensional, but like, uh, but that's not to its detriment uh, for the movie because the thing is, it's not, it's not a character movie, you know. Even though mm-hmm. like it's it's more focused on the, on the theme that they want to discuss, you know. Basically, like you know, do good and you know, good happens around you, that kind of thing, right? And also, you know, corporation, mm-hmm. big bad type of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. corporation, big bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why they use uh, uh, symbols of other corporations. But, like, mm-hmm. that, that's kind of the thing. You don't, you shouldn't expect too much out of this movie. It's, again, popcorn flick, turn your brain off, you'll be fine, you know? I mm-hmm. think, at least for me, out of enjoyment, I'd give it, like, a 7, 7.5 out of 10. But, like, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a fun movie, but it's, like, you won't get anything too much out of it, other than the nice yeah. messages that they have at, at the, uh, that they just basically kind of spat at you at the, uh, throughout yeah, the movie. I love the part when, when Ryan Rose guy can, went through an existential crisis, <laughs> right? Oh, I've oh, got yeah. his existence of his reality <laughs> yeah, that and everything. Yeah, that I, love it when, I love it when a character's whole perception of the world around, breaks apart and then they go to existential dread as they're left to wander about the about their existence and the universe of whether or not they were a, they were a creation of God or a creation of man. Yeah, yeah, that's always fun to witness the breakdown of a character's mental state as they question the very reality, the very fabric of their life. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it, you know, you get, it's um, I I I don't really have a lot to say on this movie actually. Yeah. That's All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, not enough video, ga- really weird video game reference in this movie. I just want to say. Oh, actually, yeah, you don't get a lot of those, strangely enough. Yeah, That's like like the only one was the portal gun, and that was it. Oh yeah. Right. I mean, maybe they did a. Movie. I mean, I just said that this is a self within its own self within its. Own, within its Oh, self-contained game world, so I understand why, right? Like, I wasn't expecting a whole Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, Wreck-It Ralph you know? had a hot, like, uh, like yeah, yeah, right? fucking a lot. I mean, yeah, I wasn't expecting like a Wreck-It Ralph situation within this movie, with this video. But the fact that it was like only the portal gun, that I was like, I guess this or Fox or whatever the fuck only managed to get, only managed to get the portal gun rights to be in this movie, right? It's yeah. the- Right, so you want to read how this game had a Fortnite crossover event or some shit, and how they didn't even get a Fortnite crossover event within this movie? Where's my Fortnite apps? Where's my Fortnite dance emote? Are you okay? Are you alright? <laughs> Do you just want more Fortnite in your Fortnite while you Fortnite? Is that what's going on? Is this a situation? That's right, let me Fortnite with the Fortnite, as the kids like to say. <laughs> the kids love, love some Fortnite. I don't think that's what the kids say at all, but alright. We'll go with it. Now we kids love Fortnite. They love it with their Roblox as uh, well. I still can't get over the fact or that Or apparently... their Five Nights at Freddy. Oh Ask your nieces god. and nephew about Five Nights at Freddy. Oh god. I mean, they love Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know what you're okay. talking about. Count them sl- now show them Slender. Slow. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I mean, look. If they stumble on it, then that's on them. Alright? I'll enlighten them to Slender. But like, all right, now, I'm not right, gonna. Now, I'm not now gonna now be. Show them all. Oh my no! 
Okay, you keep saying this, Austin, but you don't understand. He's very much, ironically, my nephew. He's like eleven. He's very much. He's in the. He's. Like, oh, he, he's eleven. He, I, thought, oh, I thought he was a kid. Uh, I thought he was still like. I, 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 thought, okay. I thought he was still like a small child. Okay, okay never that's mind. still it's child. It's fun. That's it's still... only fun when you when you give traumatic events to a small child to affect their growth. All right. Wait, wait. You mean like when they're like fucking five? Is that what you mean? Yeah. When they're yeah. fucking five years old, you want to traumatize them into learning about yeah. slender and everything. But yeah. Is, what, what's the difference between that and eleven? What's the difference? No, uh, no, there's a big difference. All right, uh -huh. if we look at this chart about the growth cycle. There is no chart. You tell psyche. me there's a chart, but there's no chart. There is no I don't chart know. at all. There's a chart. Wait, I'm moving my hand in a circular motion, right? As if, as if I was, as if I was presenting a chart to in front of a class for a presentation about the growth of the human psyche. All right. All right. Well, well, guess what? All right. Here, guess what? That you're not presenting to anybody. There's no one around. Okay. There's no, no one to see. That's what's happening right also, now. Hey, also, hey, I don't know if I just don't know the internet. Who the fuck were any of those people in this movie? Oh, I mean, I was at least familiar not, with not, some not of them. Not the famous people. I know the famous people. Like The Rock as a bank robber, right? I legitimately mm -hmm. met the other fucking people. Oh. I had no idea who any of these fucking people okay, were. So I know them by name. I know them by name, right? Uh -huh. Like, I heard the name Ninja. I heard Ninja in his Fortnite dance before. But I was like, who the fuck are the rest of these characters until I went to the Wikipedia page? And uh, I had to look them up. Well, I mean, they're, they're just basically big name YouTubers uh, slash streamers, honestly. That's honestly mm -hmm. all you need to know about them. You don't need to fucking know any more about them. Because, the, hey, like, the I, thing, I, the I, thing where is... Where was the Ninja way? trying to show... Why didn't Ninja try to show Jack... The Fortnite dance, all right. Um, oh wait, uh, I'm rewatching this movie now. There's a scene where there's the fucking Avengers Infinity War trailer in the background. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, hold on, there's a. Oh wait, oh there's a Deadpool poster too. Ah uh, well, you know Ryan Reynolds is allowed to do that, I suppose, considering that he's mainly oh, he's go. basically I'm Deadpool. I'm trying to get the screen. It's so, oh, it's that Disney money that that comes through. Um, you know, you know, you know. You hate on Disney all you want. At least they got the money to get you some, get shit done. <laughs> That's right. That's like how they add money to make sure that no one ever dies in Disney World. Yeah. Or land. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> but I mean, you mm -hmm. know, it's uh, oh, Rick I mean, and, oh, hey, Rick and Morty exists in this uh, Where's my Rick and Morty? Uh, uh, Where? <laughs> why didn't I see God do the Rick and Morty? Look, at, look, at, at least, look, aside from the fact that we're getting older and we no longer know who any of these people are, all right? At, at, le at least they gave us Dwayne The Rock as a, as a cameo, so we at least say, oh, we, right. can, we, we can at least Dwayne say, Dwayne The Rock we know him. as the Scorpion King, all right? I want my Dwayne The Rock Scorpion King to be in this movie. Oh, my God. Give me the Scorpion King. Oh, my God. But no. how many movies are in that franchise, by They're the way? like four or five. Oh, that's Scorpion. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're King. looking up right now. I'm pretty sure you can Ooh. confirm that it's either four or five. Holy shit! There's a... What? Is there? Is it? There. Is it four or five, or are there more than what? I thought? There's five. The last one came out in 2018. Ah, oh, imagine. <laughs> oh, there's a. Oh, there's an untitled reboot. Oh wait, there's and gonna this be one a has reboot. But Why? with Dwayne the Rock Johnson instead. Wait, wait, wait! Is he actually coming back? As a I guess part. so. What? So, Un like, so unironic unironically, I, if he's if he if he's coming back as the Scorpion King, I would I'm actually gonna be excited for it. Uh, why weren't you excited for the first Scorpion King movie? I mean, look, that was a fun romp, okay. But all I'm all I'm saying is, that, is this gonna be a reboot? I'm down. I'm fucking down for it, my guy. Ooh, what the fuck? I'm looking at this right now. Let's see. There's been. Four different actors that has played the Scorpion King, apparently. Yeah, I mean, it didn't exactly get, uh, didn't exactly go a good, uh, good direction, you know. But uh, after after Dwayne's uh, Dwayne's uh, try at it, so. Mm -hmm. Rolls to fame, some would say. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But uh, is that it? 
Uh, are we just oh. gonna shit post? Oh, do, do, I, do we have anything else to say? I uh, mean, uh, aside from shit posting, um. No, 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 no. It's never shit posting, all right? Well, we're, we're, it's serious. Okay. It's only serious right here. I mean, I guess. Right? As a, I'm quick. Uh, I guess as a last. Boy, word. hey, what happened to the sword and sword and fantasy sorcery genre? I'm looking at this Wikipedia page right now. Did this genre just die? Oh, uh, you mean like uh stuff like wait? You mean like stuff like Lord of the Rings or more like Conan the Barbarian? Uh. According to this Wikipedia page, where does it consider that? Does not consider. Does it not consider? Oh wait, guess Conan the Bear. Hold on here. Look at this and go to like the two thousand. Uh, go, oh, go look at this Wikipedia. Go to the two thousand eras real quick. Did this genre die? Dungeons and Dragons, Dragonheart, uh, the Hexer, Scorpion King, Barbarian, Red Knight. Yeah. It's um. Oh, and then you go to 2000. Oh, yeah, it's not a lot. But then again, I think it's mainly because we're entering into the more superhero era, you know? Uh, damn the su damn the superhero eras. Yeah, and then Sword uh, uh, Sword and Sorcery just to basically took went on the back burner. Which makes yeah. sense considering, like, uh, again, we were really being dominated by the superhero genre film. So no, we still know, are. We really are. I mean, but we are coming. Some we would are say we are like the we are like the living vampires of 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 the of the of the movie genre. Oh my god! Besides, I think Sword and Sorcery has taken has has gotten new life in more television uh television series because you got you did get Game of Thrones, uh, which I would say is a Sword and Sorcery thing, um, mm -hmm. and. There is going to be the new Amazon Lord of the Rings, and then we're also getting the Wheel of Time again on Amazon as well. Is Wheel of Time Sword and Sorcery? It is. I would say it really? is. Really? Okay, well. I again, thought it was just like high fantasy type of bullshit. I didn't realize there was actual swords in that. Oh, no, there are swords. There are armies and stuff. I mean, that's that's what you're dealing with. Like, But it's it's not it's not Conan the Barbarian Sword, sword, sword and Sorcery. It's more, at least mm -hmm. in my opinion, it's, it's because the thing is, I like, I would say that. Lord of the Rings could fall under sword and sorcery, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But it's but people mainly regard it as high fantasy, and I would also say the yeah. same thing of the Wheel of Time. But the fact that but if we're going if the, for the fact if it's medieval times with swords and you know magic is around in the era, that would I, w I would say that would be sword and sorcery, and so that's mm -hmm. why I would put Lord of the Rings and like Wheel of Time mm. and like uh, under under those categories as uh, itself. Mm. And that's why I also put Game of Thrones as that as well, because you know it's 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 mm -hmm. very much a political political uh, uh, sword and sorcery type of thing. But it's still it's still mm -hmm. it, it would still be considered sword and sorcery at least in my opinion. Oh, that came out. Oh, that movie came out in two thousand ten. Interesting. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I mm -hmm. guess that's I I guess, I don't really have any much. Okay, more okay, to say, okay. So. Now off the topic of the Scorpion King. Uh -huh, all right, uh -huh. I don't have anything else to say about this movie. This movie is just a fun watch, and that's it. Yeah, you're not gonna get. You can bring your kids. What have loved that more fun. would have been more funny if we had an entire section dedicated to Ryan Reynolds' guy going through existential thread and he tries to commit virtual suicide every day and pull a ground on day. Would have been real funny if they did that. I'm not gonna that lie. would have been real good. That would have been real good too. If they did take it in that direction, <laughs> if they I would just have really day for like, 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 literally, I would have given literally like a ten second sequence of him groundhog day. Would have been real fucking funny if anything. Honestly, that would have been fantastic. I do agree with that notion. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a it's a fun movie. All uh, right, that's it. Yeah, that's where all I all I have to love to say for this. It's it's a fun watch, right? The only part I legitimately did like was the Star Wars fucking the Star Wars and the MCU fucking bit though. I felt I felt that was a fucking tad much, and that and that and that they only got that because of for the they the movie halfway through production got got the Disney deal, and they're like, uh oh, guess we could put this in now. Yeah, it, right. Again, it's it felt just, very because the problem is like because like, they had no reference. To other pop culture elements within this, within the video game universe, right outside of the fucking random portal gun, which is still so fucking bizarre. I guess Val just licenses the portal gun to fucking anyone now. I mean, right? It's not like, like I would have been like I would like I would have had a problem with that whole Star Wars and Marvel bit if there was actually more random pop culture elements within this fucking universe, right? Yeah. Like, like that bit felt very forced, and like oh, and then that's like the point. Like okay, that's where that's when Disney came in and bought this, 
bought twenty. That's you like. Oh, that's when Fox sold sold. Yeah, sold it because well. it becomes so very clear when 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 the when the movie. Yeah, like, I actually happens. was enjoying this movie. I thought I was like, like in fact, it was like it was mainly self contained in his own universe. Like like I said, outside of the portal gun, I was like, eh, it's whatever. Right, but then, and then but but when but like, also I think the worst part is when they fucking started using the scores for the movie when he when he pulls them out. Right, that's uh-huh. that's what it got to me. I was like, boy, this is this is a bit on the nose now. Like I, I get I get there's a like, Disney movie property and they, but the fact that they just fucking started they played the fucking uh the song with uh the 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 portal song right when when he pulls yeah. out the shield mm-hmm. right I was like mm, this is uh it's like. And and, and and then when he pulls out the the the, the lightsaber, you get the title crawl. He's like, "Boy, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's Star Wars." Yeah, they they really right? just like like really put it in your face. Yeah, but, like, like like yeah, like yeah, like that that I think like like that bit was like the only part where I didn't legitimately like the but other than that, I actually did legit like this movie. Yeah, it does right? get a little much in certain points, but it's it doesn't it's not like it it, it really it outstays itself. It just it, it appears like mm-hmm. all right, that's much, but then it's gone. And you're like okay, thank God, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Also, that's not how destroying server works, by the way. Yeah. I just want to point again, that out. But remember, Hollywood logic. So we'll we'll, we'll take it for what it is. That's right. Uh, that's right. Those those idiots and those. Uh, that's right. The Hollywood would be like, oh, these stupid idiot movie go who only watch Marvel movies and superheroes and not sword and sorcery will never understand how computer computer works. Uh huh. Yep. Totally. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just put just put in the Star Wars music to distract them. Kids love the Star Wars, right? They love the Rise of Skywalker. That's their favorite. That's everyone's favorite Star Wars movie. That's what the business executive says at their meeting. By the way, oh my God. they talk about how much kids love kid. The young kids love the Rise of Skywalker. You know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Only until they grow up and find mm-hmm. out how it uh, how it actually feels. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? There's only. There's only three Star Wars movie, William. Well, okay, you motherfucker. Yeah. How dare you say such a thing? <laughs> yeah, there's only three, right? Star Wars 1, Attack of the Clones, Rise of the Skywalker. Those are the only three Star Wars movies. Mm, okay, that's it. I guess we're ending it hey, now. Hey, I wonder Marvel. what happens, actually, if you only ever show a person episode 4, right? What do you mean? If they... A New Hope? Yeah. And then show them, and then show them Attack of the Clones, and then Rise of the Sky, Rise of Skywalker. Like, only show them those three Star Wars, and say, this is the trilogy. <laughs> that be so confusing. Like, what are these new characters? What's going on? What are these, what are these, what is this history they're referencing to? What, who is, what? That'd be just so confusing. Like, what? Like, where's Darth Vader? Like, who, hey, who you the fuck is You know how arguments on how to watch the Star Wars trilogy on, like, do you watch the original, the original trilogy or the prequel trilogy first? Like, no, just watch A New Hope, Attack of the Close, and Rise of Skywalker. That's it. That's the only order you ever have to watch for a Star Wars movie. And they oh, call it a my God. <laughs> where's the fan edit of that? <laughs> I want someone to, to combine those so movies good. into one. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> just, uh, just fucking have a serious fuck hard. What movie was the one where they threw Palpatine off though? Was that was that was that that was a new one, right? That was uh Return of the Jedi. Damn, I was damn, okay, never mind. You can't do that, damn. Damn, never mind. I wanna I wanna have a cut of the movie where as soon as as soon as Darth Vader throws off throws Palpatine off the off the stupid thingy, right? You just cut to Paul saying somehow Palpatine has returned. <laughs> that's it. That's just the cut. That's, that's that's that'd the be cut. great. That'd be so good. <laughs> <laughs> alright that's it alright 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 right, that, that's the movie I got nothing else to say at this point I'm done yeah I'm done too <laughs> alright coronavirus is still a thing wash your hands wear a mask get your shots watch out for Palpatine coming back he'll be back <laughs> in the Fortnite. I swear to god alright alright Kate thanks bye <laughs>